Greetings everyone. I want to take a look at this 385 nanometer 5 millimeter LED. It's from Visual Communications Corporation, something like that. I got them from DigiKey. Price each is $1.46, but you get a pretty good price break if you buy 10 of them. So, yeah, 10 is the first price break, and I got them for $0.92 cents each. Good quality LEDs will be expensive. You, know, you might say, oh, you can buy these on eBay for, you know, $0.10 cents each or something, but I've never had good luck with eBay LEDs. I've always tested them, and they seem to lose light output pretty quick just because of the lousy quality. Much better luck with good quality stuff. But anyway, this one here is the 385 nanometer LED. This one is a 400 nanometer. And I'm just, I just put it here so I can compare it to the other one. You can see it's, it's out pretty bright purple light. While the 385 nanometer is not very bright at all. In fact, the camera makes it brighter than it is to the eye. I think a little more UV must get through the camera sensor. But it's pretty dim to the eye and that's important. Okay, I shut the room light off and I'll shine them on the paper here. Now this paper has optical brighteners in it. And you can see the 385 really is quite bright. This one's more focused, but the light output from this one is actually higher. You can't really tell. But when I put it close to the paper so that the diameter of the light circles are the same, this one's a lot brighter. It might be the frequency of light makes the paper glow brighter. I don't know, but, you know, this one, I think I got it from Radio Shack. It's just a 400 nanometer. Now let me show you what happens when I put this piece of acrylic in front of the LEDs. This has a special UV blocker in it. You know, it looks clear to the eye, but it blocks 99% of the UV light. And look at that. Completely blocks the 385 nanometer, but the other one, it blocks about 50% of its light as well. What I think is happening, it's just letting the visible light come through on the 400 nanometer, but completely blocking out. And maybe a, the tiniest amount gets through. I think that's just the visible light coming through the 385 nanometer there. Now I have these uh, pieces of acrylic that glow under UV light. They have dyes in them that will glow. You can see it glows with both of the LEDs. Maybe a little better with the 400 nanometer, but again it is focused. Its beam is focused more than with the 385. Here's one problem with the 400 nanometer LEDs. As I shine it on this money, there's a security strip. The problem is it emits so much visible light that you can't really see it that well. And when I switch to the 385 nanometer LED, look at that, you can clearly see that strip. So because the UV is deeper into the spectrum, it allows you to see what's fluorescing and not obscured by visible light. So that will do it for this one. 385 nanometer, 5 millimeter LED. Thanks for watching.